What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a Nintendo Switch Joy-Con to work on a smartphone. So I'm going to be using a right Joy-Con for this, but um, you don't have to use the right Joy-Con. You can also use the left Joy-Con. I just like uh, the I just like the right Joy-Con better. I like the uh, none the um the stick in the middle there. So what you're gonna want to do is uh, you're gonna want to go to settings, and then you're gonna want to go to Bluetooth, and then you're gonna want to turn it on, and then see how it says Joy-Con R. So you're gonna want if you go see right here, there's a button right there to sync an antenna switch Joy-Con. You're gonna want to press that for two seconds. One. And what this two. means is, look, I am controlling the Nexus entirely with this. See, I'm going through everything. So a game that I found to work really well with this is um this game right here. So you're gonna want to press A to confirm stuff, basically. Uh, it's hill climb racing, so we're gonna be playing this game today. Uh, that's a little bit loud. All right, so again, it's a to confirm stuff, so you can just. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. All right, well, a to confirm. Oh, X. Okay. Oh, okay. Obviously, there's some confusion here. Okay, so X is to exit. Okay. Oh, wait. Sorry. So, you can't really use the Joy-Con for this part. You have to press the actual touchscreen itself. So, you press next, and then countryside, and then start. And then... So, to go forward and to break, you just do that. And then also, uh, what, what you're going to want to do, if you want to pause it, you press X and then you can touch whatever you want. And yeah, it's basically really cool. Okay, that was bad. See how I'm going to improve it to you this time. So, I'm in... Um, so I'm entirely controlling it this way, as you can see. So back is to go back and forward is to go forward. Okay, I don't know why I break when I'm like flying forward. Um, I just kind of, uh, I'm not really too good at this game, okay, it's been a while. Since I played this game. Alright, so that's that game with the Joy-Con. Obviously, there are other games that you can play with the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con. But you may have to search a little bit. But I do know they're out there. So, yeah. And also, you'll see this happening. But, uh, that, that's nothing. It's just, yeah. It's pretty, pretty neat. Oh, yeah. And then... Um, I just wanted to say this real quick. Um, you cannot use a Joy-Con like this, sadly. You have to use one Joy-Con. I tried it. It doesn't work. Which makes a lot of sense. A and actually, something I really like about this, obviously, um, uh, is that obviously you don't want to bring an Xbox controller, um, if you want to control your phone with the sort of controller, you bring this. Because this is a really small, you can fit in your pocket, fit it anywhere really. So it's a, it's a pretty neat little thing. So, yeah, that's it for today, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye guys. And by the way guys, um, after you do hold it for two seconds, it, it will show up as Joy-Con R, and you're going to want to press that, and then it'll say, allow Joy-Con R. Uh, to control the device and then you press pair and then you'll be in control of the nexus with the joy-con 
Sorry, it uh, cut out in the middle of the video.